guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So we're taking a look at a new amp today. Uh, this is the Marshall MG15DFX amplifier. There is a newer model version of this out with a silver face and they changed a couple of buttons and I really don't care for it actually. It also has a carbon fiber look, the new one. Um, but uh, this one's a couple of years old. It's not very old, you know. And uh, I picked it up on a deal today on Kijiji for 70 bucks. And I'm like, hmm, okay, that's not bad, you know. Um, these things sell for a little over 200 and some dollars new. So, hey, why not? You know, I'm talking Canadian dollars. You guys know that. Anyway, so um, it's got a separate channel. You've got clean, which has its own independent volume. You have your overdrive channel that has its own gain and volume. Bass mid treble. And you have a digital effects area where you have reverb, delay, chorus, and flanger. And you can do some adjustments to with it to a certain point um, as you, uh, you know, because you got like a more of a negative side to it and then a higher side before you switch to the next effect. And then you also have FX level so you can really uh, round it out more or whatever type of thing you want to do. Uh, you also have this switch called FDD. Now, what that is, is called Frequency Dependent Dampening Switch. Um, and it's considered only on the CDR to be um, a, 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 a reverb control, I guess they call it or something. Um, trying to get to the name of it here. Just I've got the manual online here. Um, not, okay, 911, so it wasn't reverb. Sorry, my bad. Uh, so 911 gives us uh, 9 and 11. Okay, so it is for both. Uh, emulated headphones. Plug your headphones uh, here for a killer speaker emulated sound. Doing this mutes your MG15's internal speaker for silent practice. Um, okay, interesting, but whatever. Um, but that's a, like a dual purposes, what they call it. So it's a combination 9 and 11 feature. Um, but uh, anyway, so the main feature is frequency dependent dampening. Its proprietary circuitry accurately mimics the way an all valve amplifier interacts with the loudspeaker and adds a width and depth to your sound, which has been unachievable in affordable solid state amplifiers until now. Okay, so that's what the FDD switch is about, and we'll show you how that works there in a minute. Um, now, I, I've only had this amp for a couple hours, but I, I actually made use of it tonight uh, during a lesson with one of my students. I ran this amp uh, for a change, and I thought, well, you know, it's kind of pretty cool. It also has uh, CD in and emulated line out, um, which may have something to do with this switch, I guess, as well. Um, headphones, uh, jack as well. Uh, the power switch, actually, you push it down to turn it on and push it up to turn it off. It's kind of neat and interesting. It does have an 8-inch speaker, and it is a 15-watt amplifier. And uh, it's pretty obnoxious for 15, 15 watts, and I haven't even had a full blast yet, but, oh, I can't wait until I can. So i got to wait for the neighbors not to be home for that. So anyways, uh, right now I'm just on the clean channel. Bass mid troubles are, you know, we're going to have them all centered here at 12 o'clock. Uh, no effects turned on, and uh, I'm using my Epiphone SG uh, on the uh, bridge pickup. <laughs> Check out this FDD switch and see what it sounds different as. Push the switch in, it seems to add a little bit more output and a little bit more definition to your high notes. 
Um, so a little more troubly, we'll say. Um, pretty cool. Okay, so let's uh, let's check out the reverb. I've got the reverb in the, the middle position here. I can rotate it further, but let's just turn the FX level up to uh, 9 o'clock. level as well. Let's crank that right to the top. And 12 o'clock position. Let's check out the delay. Delay right at the starting point and level in the middle. especially when you're playing clean. effects in it. Um, let's go over to the overdrive channel. Now I've got the volume full tilt and the gain is um, not even the one. <laughs>
game is at about 2 o'clock. punchier overdrive. It's not saturated distortion, you know. Let's turn the volume about half here. it was definitely worth it. I've yet to try this on my pedals. I will be. And uh, and when I have my findings on that, I will actually do you guys a video with this hooked into my, my pedals. Um, this amp is going to replace my Fender Mustang, though, in the lineup. Um, I do like it. Um, it is nice. Um, I think... I, I don't know, I, th that static thing does kind of bug me a little bit on the overdrive channel, but it does play really clean, clean tone, I like that. I can do without effects built in, because I have my own pedals, but they are at least there if I do want them, you know, which is kind of nice. Um, bass mid and treble is good. There's actually fairly decent response out of the, uh, the bass mid and treble. Now the mid isn't actually a mid, it's called a contour, is what it is. And um, it's a little different than a mid-range, but it does help with your mid-range uh, frequencies. So um, let's go through that for a second. Let's go to the clean here. So it, do, it does act a lot like a mid frequency is, is more basically what it actually is. What they say contour is um, highly effective tone control works by radically modifying the mid-range body. The tone can range from traditional and woody sounding setting at 10 to balls to the wall setting at midway to aggressive scooped and modern setting at zero and all points in between. That's what they say the contour is for. Let's put it full tilt. So it's it's kind of up there, you know, so it, it does snap, you know what I mean? It's pretty decent. Um, now, it is a Marshall. Now, you know, which is fine. I have nothing against Marshall. I like Marshall, actually. Uh, there's a Marshall stack I actually want to get when I have about four grand. I don't know what to do with. Um, but uh, now 
this will have to do. Um, 15 watts is, it's 15 watts of Marshall. It's like PV amps, the old PV amps, you know, 12 watts. No, that's more than 12 watts, man. That's, that's a lot more, you know. And uh, so Marshall's kind of along that same line. Their, their power rating is really underrated for their, for their amps. They are quite, quite loud for what they're rated at. Um, I don't see any problems with playing live with this thing at all. Um, I have no problem seeing that it would get over top of a drum set all too easily. Uh, even my old PV Edition 20 amp that's 12 watts and it's over 30 odd years old has no problem getting over <laughs> drums, you know. Um, so you can you can jam with your band. I mean, small venues, yes. You know, if you need a bigger area, mic it up on a PA. Definitely, it'll get out there and do the job uh, for a lot of things. Um, you know, I wouldn't suggest giving a rock concert with it. You know, um, it's just not going to do that for you. But certainly, for a great uh, bedroom practice amp. Uh, studio amp, uh, use it for, like I said, small gigs and small venues, uh, you'd be fine with it, you know, and it's got plenty of horsepower. Um, I can't wait to see what it's like going uh, just into the clean channel with my pedals and seeing how well it reacts with the different pedals that I have, you know. Um, and like I said, that, that hissy sound, I don't get that out of my other amps. And that is a little annoying to me, and it's kind of like, I don't know, maybe it's just a Marshall trait. Um, I have to look at, there wasn't a whole lot of videos to look at on this amp, but there were a few, you know, on this specific exact amp, okay? Because um, the other 15 um, series is, like I said, Silverface, and I didn't like Silverface anyways, uh, so I was happy to find this one. But uh, anyways, um... I don't know, for you freaks that like your, your star rating system, in total, in all, for everything, including the thing that annoys me that may not annoy others, um, I stick this thing at an easy 4 out of 5 anyways. Um, it does lose a bit, it's not perfect, and that gain thing, that does kind of annoy me with that static, so I am going to ding it for that. Um, I think... They should have also gone with a 10-inch speaker, not an 8. Um, a 10-inch would have been a lot more practical. Um, but it does seem to work well with the 8. Um, though I am going to try a PV uh, Blue Marble speaker in it and see how the Blue Marble handles this amp. Um, you know, and if it's fine, then it can stay. If not, well, then this will have to stay. But either way, this stays for a while anyway. Um, but uh, I think it'll make a good replacement though for my Fender because it does have more bass output um, and control. I do like the contour um, part of the EQ. It does have a lot of good trouble to it. Um, like I said, the effects I can do without, I really don't care either way. I have delay pedals. Um, I have reverb in my mixer if I want reverb. So, But if I'm just you know out, away from my own equipment, at least I got a couple of effects there that are built right in, which is kind of convenient to have a chorus effect, it's kind of also convenient to have a reverb effect too. So, um, definitely more than worth the 70 bucks I paid for it, and I've checked these things out online, and they're going anywhere from $50 to $125. A lot of that depends on A, the person, B, um, the condition, and I would say overall condition on this would be an easy 9 out of 10 for overall condition. Um, so, you know, it was definitely worth the 70 The guy was asking 80 but... You know, I offered 70 and he accepted, so that was good. Uh, but do stay tuned for more videos on this amp. Um, like I said, I'm going to try my pedals out with it, see how it does with pedals. I'm also going to try it on a couple of different guitars, like my Tally and my Strat, and see how it sounds on them. Um, and then we just go from there. So anyways, in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. If you're not subbed to my channel, hey, subscribe. Um, if you're into music, you're into RC, you're into pellet guns, you're into uh, all the crazy stuff I'm into, there you go. I have a very huge variety based channel with thousands of videos for you guys to, to check out and have fun with. And uh, hey, we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.